Hey everyone, my name is Liz. I'm the guest instructor here on the channel for the month of June. If you haven't already, go ahead and give me a follow at Night of the Lunch Table on Instagram. While you're there, go ahead and give Squared a follow, that is at SQD underscore independent. Squared is a fully virtual color guard dedicated to giving performance opportunities to people who might not have them. So you could be aged out, maybe you don't have the money to march, maybe, maybe there's no color guard where you are. Whatever the reason, Squared is there for you. We're doing projects all through the month of November, so go ahead and give us a follow and sign up if that sounds like something you like. In this video, we're going to work through three variations of a catch behind the back on rifle. We're going to start with our rifle in a nice regular left flat. And the only difference between this and a regular technique toss is that you're catching one-handed, but you're catching way up here by your head. So you're not going to catch where you normally would down here by your hips. You need to raise this toss slightly. Also, because it's a one-handed catch, that means that this thumb right here needs to be wrapped over the top of the barrel and you need to squeeze as hard as you can once that rifle meets your hands. Otherwise, it's just gonna go flying. And the last thing you're going to do is you're gonna make sure you catch at this downward angle and then you actually push up to this vertical angle. Those two things just happen very, very quickly. Um, if you were to catch straight here, you wouldn't really have enough time to squeeze and stop the rifle or maybe it would be going too fast and it would really pinch your wrist. There's a lot of bad things that can go wrong. So you want to go here and twist super quickly from that catch. So it's all one big smooth push. Now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and talk about the body. Most of this toss is going to be spent right here at your release point, except for the last count or two. So what's going to happen is this left arm is going to sort of rebound and you're going to blade. This is the motivator to get you to turn around. Your left foot stays still and your right foot is the one that steps across. And then as that's happening, you're gonna be watching with your eyes as long as possible. So as you're stepping around, you're gonna be watching, watching, watching until the moment that that rifle meets your hands. And then once you feel it connect, you're gonna take your eyes from your rifle and snap to wherever your audience is. So if I was doing this toss starting away from you, I would go out, I'd watch, I'd watch, I'd watch, then bam. On that catch, you want eyes to the audience. Let's go ahead and work our way up to this toss. So we're gonna start with a technique toss. I'll be doing a quad, and we're gonna catch with one hand up here by our forehead. That's it, no other body. Ready? And five, and six, and five, six, seven, da, da, out, two, three, and nice. Now from there, we're gonna do that same exact toss, but the only difference is we're gonna be stepping across as we catch. And five, and six, and five, six, seven, da, da, out, two, three, and. This next variation is essentially a technique toss caught at port. You really don't want to attempt this underneath anything smaller than a double. Um, and the slower the rotation, the easier it's going to be. If your rifle's coming down and it's like a fan blade, if it were to hit you, because this can hit like your rib cage, your thigh, it can really hurt. That would be bad. So you want to make sure that your rotations are slow enough that you can really watch them and really nail that port. All that's going to happen with this toss is your rifle is going to come out. It's going to rotate however many times you threw it. And then as it comes down, as it goes to that final rotation at this point in the air, as the nose is coming towards you, you're going to step with your right foot in front of it so that the nose falls behind your back. And then your right hand's gonna be behind it to really smack that nose, or to smack that um, neck. And your left hand will have snuck behind your back to grab the nose. So you're gonna be at this nice sort of 45 degree angle with a little bit of a lean back to help avoid hitting yourself with the nose. So if I were to show you just the body of this from the side, what happens is you've gone duck, duck, out, you toss, you toss, you toss, and right as you go to catch, your right foot steps really far forward because if your step is too small, you could hit yourself. And as that right foot comes forward, this left hand, it touches the back of your hand to your spine. And then your right hand really stops the rifle and your left hand is going to close over the nose. So this whole thing would be da, da, out, two, three, and. You're going to really hit that body on that catch count. So with this toss, I would recommend starting it underneath just a really lofty, slow double one, two, just there. 
So that way you can really watch it and really get used to what it feels like to watch the nose come down and then step at that last moment and put your hand on it. You can put your left hand in once you're ready. Sometimes it's easier to start with just that one hand just to get used to watching it. Let's try this full thing. And five, and six, and five, six, seven, da, da, out, two, three, and. So with this toss, it's going to combine elements of the first and second body that we tried. So the basic principle is a regular technique toss caught flat. And this works under any rotation. But it's caught with one hand. So you really want to make sure that your thumb is wrapped and you're squeezing that catch so it doesn't just come, you know, flying out of your hands. You also want to make sure that your rotations are slow enough that that doesn't just happen. And the last thing you're going to think about is placement. If you toss this and it lands here, well, your hand's down here, you know, it's going to be down. So you really want to make sure that your placement, your rotation speed, and your catch position are nails. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the body under this toss. Like I said, it's just like a regular technique, da da out. But then from here, what's gonna happen is this right hand, once you've pushed down, you're gonna put it directly on your back. So this is going to be um, back of the hand to the small of your back, but twisted slightly so that you have your palm to the sky. That'll be important in a second. And your right hand's gonna go immediately there. So you've gone da da out, just put your right hand there, no need to dilly dally. Then this left hand, once it's come out, I find the easiest body to do under this toss is to then circle up, 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 and while this is happening, your left foot's gonna be stepping across, watching, watching, watching that rifle until that last moment that we catch, and then I usually catch in a nice plie and bring my arm right here, cross body. What this does is having this arm up it gives you a sort of device to help you look at that rifle as long as possible. Because it's very tempting to go da da out, turn, and then hope for the rifle to, you know, enter your hand correctly. But that's not always how it happens, you know. We spin outside, we make mistakes. So what you're going to want to do is toss and watch as long as you can. Really, really twist that neck. And then there's going to be a point at the very, very end, that split second before you catch, where you will have to look away. But you will have been watching your rifle the entire time. So you'll have a pretty good idea of what it's gonna do. To work your way up to higher rotation, I suggest you start with a nice, lofty single. And with a single, you don't have time to really dilly-dally. It's really just out, catch. But that'll help get you used to watching and twisting at the same time. So that way you don't just take your eyes off of the gun and pray that it lands correctly. So once you've got a single, move up to a nice lofty double. And then once you get to about quads, you can really make use of this hand here. So with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and try it. I'll be doing a quad, but you do whatever you're comfortable with. And five, and six, and five, six, seven, da, da, out, two, three, okay. And with this catch, sometimes it's going to feel more comfortable when you're starting out to catch here vertical. That is totally fine. With these kinds of catches, it's really going to be up to whatever your instructor asks you to do. So it's a good idea to be able to catch flat and vertical or further, whatever's going to be asked of you. As long as you squeeze your hand on that catch, you'll be golden. Thank you so much for having me. As always, if you try this, go ahead and tag me. I want to see what you do with it. In the meantime, have fun, happy spinning, and hydrate.